Good morning and welcome in. I am the Canadian trucker Rudy and I am here with Diego. I'm trucker's Rudy's son. Well, thank you guys for joining my channel and stay tuned for the rest of my day. I'll sit down and buy you a cup This truck stop and coffee We both know will fix you right up I can't drive a big rig But man, I play a lot of shows I'll either drive to you As they can sing in these tunes Cause it's the only life I know I'll pick the guitar Good morning, good morning everybody Well, guess what? We are still <laughs> literally sitting around in this parking lot that we was at yesterday afternoon already or yesterday morning actually we got here quarter to ten and we are still here yes we are still here I walked in earlier around eight o'clock see if they would take me in earlier now we're not taking in anybody early all right she says come back at 10 o'clock we'll see maybe we'll get you in maybe i don't think so i don't think they're gonna get me in by by my appointment time they told me yesterday to reschedule and that's when my appointment is so i don't know i don't know it's frustrating it really is because where am i going to go here you know i don't uh, i can't take a shower here i Luckily, I do have this Wi-Fi system here. I got it set up right here on the dashboard. That's where my uh, Sprint Wi-Fi system is right here. So, at least I do have something here that I can go on the internet and uh, watch some Netflix movies and stuff like that. But other than that, it's pretty boring up here. Good thing is they uh, throughout, throughout the day, there is these Mexican trucks coming through here uh, every few hours with uh, all kinds of empanadas uh, all kinds of food you know so I can at least get some food if I want to although I do have food in the truck but I bought a few times here I bought some food off of these guys and their food is really good too so but anyways we're just waiting here to get our load unloaded and then we still have to make our delivery in Laredo yet so that won't happen today either so that won't be till tomorrow sometime so I guess we're just screwed here now for till we get unloaded here so and on Laredo as far as I know it's just first come first serve so it's not like this place here where you get screwed over and over and over again if you're a couple of minutes late you know but anyways I think I'm just gonna go back in there in a few minutes and check again see if I can maybe I can get in now so anyways, we'll see you guys a little bit later. Well guys, it looks like we are finally leaving our delivery place. It only took forever to get unloaded. But now we are unloaded. Now we gotta get out of Dallas. Yep. We got 433 miles to go to uh, Laredo. They would not unload me a minute earlier than my appointment. Because I missed my appointment, rescheduled. And they would not unload me not one minute earlier. No way. In a half mile. Left on Just felt like they didn't give they didn't give a shit about the drivers, you know how long they have to sit there. I miss my appointment so be it, you know. I don't know. But I'm not gonna be complaining about it anymore. It's done with. It's 0.2 miles turn left on Military Parkway. Now we just gotta try and figure out our way to uh, go back 
back to the highway. And the GPS says we can make a left hand turn up here and make our way over to uh, 630, 633 and then take that over to I-35. And then we can start uh, heading south on that. Uh, it's going to be late by the time we get to Laredo. Probably be by 10 o'clock by the time we get to Laredo. And that's going to be terrible trying to find a parking spot there in Laredo. So I might have to call the TA and see if I can reserve a parking spot up there. So that way I'm guaranteed a spot there, you know. I know you guys heard me complaining about the par paid parking spot there the other day, but uh, I'm not saying that it is a bad thing to have the parking spots. All I'm saying is that particular TA was getting a little greedy with the amount of parking spots that they had in there and the amount of parking spots they wanted to get paid for. That I found a bit ridiculous. Anyways, we'll see what happens. Now our first priority is getting out of Dallas. That's number one priority. I tossed him up there in that cab When he was barely eight weeks old Best friend that I ever had that was 15 years ago He's a good boy Old Renegade Joe That old black lab Is part of my life He rides with me Coast to coast Keeps me awake When I drive all night The times he saved me God only knows He's a good boy Oh, Renegade Joe Renegade Joe loves the road Loves the smell of that black diesel smoke And Renegade Joe loves me heart and soul And I love old Renegade Joe I remember one time when he was a pup I pulled to the shoulder, he had to go a half hour later, I had him laying in the bunk After running on foot a mile down the road But he was worth it Old Renegade Joe Yeah, we started out with quite a few bumps But it didn't take long, we grew close He'll guard with his life, me and this old truck You won't open the door or bother that load He's a good dog Oh, Renegade Joe Renegade Joe Loves the road Loves the smell of that black diesel smoke And Renegade Joe Loves me heart and soul And I love old Renegade Joe I called my wife Last Christmas Eve, we're coming in, something's wrong with Joe. Then Renegade Joe just died in his sleep. Sometimes winter can sure. We are coming into Austin, Texas right now. And this is what I suspected that I was gonna run into. A rush hour traffic. Yep. That's what we can expect around uh I guess it's almost six o'clock now. Yeah, we got quite a ways to go yet to uh, Laredo yet. A couple hours for sure. And we gotta get through San Antonio before we can get to Laredo too. So hopefully by the time we get there. All the rush hour traffic will have disappeared, but 
Yeah, well, you never know. Had a little bit of a rain shower here earlier. Still looks pretty dark there uh, further south, so we might be hitting some more rain here in a little bit, but right now we're in the clear. Yes, sir, here we are. Yep. But let's see what we can do here in this traffic. And let's get over to Laredo as soon as we can. I don't know if we'll make it there tonight, but uh, certainly try. Alrighty guys, we looks like we have just got through Austin finally. It was bad rush hour up there. And guess what? All that dark clouds up there earlier has turned into some rain been pouring down there for the last little while but we're finally able to get back up to speed it seems like right now anyways we'll see how long that will last but yeah we got about 216 miles to go up to Laredo yet I have a kind of a feeling that I won't go all the way up there but we'll see we'll see how far we make it tonight Anyways, we'll be uh, we'll be back in a minute or two. Alrighty, guys, we are done for today. We got about a hundred miles to go to Laredo, so we didn't get all the way to the Laredo. But uh, look at that, there's plenty of parking spots up here to still, and we are at the Petro, and we're gonna go inside and have ourselves a bite to eat. So let's go ahead and do that. Look at that truck. It looks pretty shiny, doesn't it? Anyways, we'll be back in a little bit, okay? Here we go, guys. We are ready to go inside. Now, a look at that sign. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it says, Welcome Professional Drivers. Now, oh, that's nice. Well, guys, we are done with dinner. That was awesome. We had a nice chicken Alfredo. I was going to show you guys that, but uh, I sort of got carried away watching the news there, and I was so hungry. I just dived right in and uh, next thing I know the plate was empty and I thought ah shit I was going to go take that camera in there and I was going to show you guys what I was going to have for dinner but what I did do is I took a couple of pictures so I'll see if I can get them off of the phone or not and uh, maybe I'll put them in there maybe not who knows you guys have seen me having a chicken alfredo before so I don't know Maybe I will, maybe I won't. But as you guys uh, can see, there's still a lot of parking in here. So that's good, I'll remember that. This uh, this one is only about an hour and 45 minutes from uh, Laredo. And it's got lots of parking spots in here, lots of them. I mean, probably only, maybe about only half of them are filled right now. That's the way it looks like it, but that's good. At least we know where we can park at. And guess what? It is a Petro. And the Petro and TA are the same company. Except they got different names. But uh, for those of you that are not familiar with it. They are the same company. And what is different from this truck stop. I think this truck stop has got 169 parking spots. I looked at it earlier. And they only have 6 paid parking spots here. See, that's what I was telling you guys about the other day. That TA up there in, Day in Dayton, Texas, before on the north side of Dallas, is ridiculous. 50 parking spots on 150 uh, parking spots they want to charge out of, out of 150 they want to charge for 50 parking spots. This one has got 169 parking spots and they only have 6 that they want to charge for. I mean, just look at the difference. I mean, be reasonable. That's okay. I, I don't mind having a parking spot uh, where you got to pay for, let's say, if I'm delivering here close by somewhere and uh, I really do need the parking spot and I can reserve it and pay for it. At least I know I'll have a parking spot, but, uh, you know, 50, 50 parking spots out of 150, that's uh, kind of a bit of a big deal to me. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I should stop talking about that. Shouldn't continue on with that anymore. But uh, anyways, I know it's been of a bit of a crappy video today. Probably not much of a driving video today. But 
hey what can I do I only got unloaded there about two o'clock and then I have to go drive to the other side of the building get my paperwork and all that and then we got into uh, Austin there and all the heavy traffic in there and showed you a little bit of that but uh, hey what can I do it is time for me to go to bed because I want to get up early tomorrow, tomorrow morning so I can go over to Laredo deliver my load and then I gotta hightail over to Houston and pick up my reload yes that's about five five and a half hour worth of driving over there so I gotta hurry up and get over there as soon as I am empty tomorrow so uh, let's go to bed and have herself a good night's sleep and uh, hey guess what tomorrow is a new day so you never know what you're gonna get to see tomorrow so stay tuned for that and have yourself an awesome day bye now behind me that day is gonna come